This has been one of the best Madden plays of all time, and I just want to tell you that it's actually back this year in Madden 22, and we're going to teach you exactly how to run it. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name's Cody, and we do videos like this every single day to help people become better at this game, to help me become better at this game. And today we're taking a look at a route combination that used to be, like I said, one of the best routes every single year, and one of the most spammed concepts in Madden history. Um, it actually was one of the main reasons as to why a lot of the bunch players were in bunch and the play is the corner strike now this comes out of the new england patriots playbook i actually think that new england's bunch is still one of the best bunches in the entire game there's a lot of really cool things that you can do out of this formation the one thing that it doesn't have is a backside like skinny post it still has the pat sail post which is a very underrated route in this year's game um but what I, what I wanted to kind of get at with this is this formation itself has spacing switch. It has halfback base. It has verticals with the in route. It has PA post, which really has a very good C route to the left side of the screen and a nice little slant in route um, to the right. It has inside cross. It has uh, Pat's curl flat. And then it also has 518 hook, one of the best plays that nobody uses, and the play corner strike. And today we're going to be taking a look at that play. Now, um, if you want to get my full gun bunch offensive e book i'm going to put a link to that in the description down below um, you can get all of my offensive and defensive guides this year by joining my patreon my patreon is only ten dollars to sign up for and it will immediately get you access to all of my madden 22 offensive and defensive guides in addition to that all of our updates so if you want to check that out that'll be linked down below so corner strike what makes this so good well, what makes this play so good is the fact that we have a high low on both sides of the field. We basically can force our opponent to have to double flat their coverage. What I mean by double flatting is they're going to have to have a deep flat on the left and a deep flat on the right. And they're also going to have to have an underneath hard flat on the left and a hard flat on the right. And what's so good about bunch is the fact is that's very difficult to do. So I'm going to go to Tampa 2 and we're going to go ahead and just run this play. Um, we're gonna put this guy here in a vertical hook. We're gonna put this guy in a third. And this is kind of a standard, you know, drop eight coverage defense. And what you're gonna notice is on the right side of the screen, because there's no hard flat, I can throw this route to the tight end and I can truck my way up field and, you know, get pretty decent yardage. So now one of the ways that, that people can combat this tight end flat, and I'll show you this, this is something new to the game this year, um, but something that they can do to try to kind of combat it. Uh, I don't know why I'm in quarters. So that's weird. Let me, uh, let me, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot the audible cover too. Okay. So we'll shade down and then we'll put, we'll re-put. So this is a shaded down vertical hook. And this has been one of the better zones in Madden 22, in my opinion. Um, but basically what you're going to see with this, literally the only adjustment I'm making is I smart route my C route on the left and then I streak Godwin. I really want to emphasize that the smart routed C route is much better than the uh, standard C route, in my opinion. Uh, you could also smart route this corner route to get to go a little bit deeper if you're on a first and 10 situation. But if you watch this right side guy, you'll see the vertical hook will actually kind of play him for a second and then he'll have and then he'll come back so a lot of people like to do that a lot of people like to uh put this shaded uh this shaded underneath vertical hook and basically say like that's our flat route well what i want to kind of point out to you is if you wait on this just a little bit he'll eventually come off of it and i can throw that ball to the tight end now, another thing that you're going to see is on this left side, and I want to hit on this. I, I haven't talked about this a lot this year. A lot of people really haven't talked about this route a lot this year. This was another reason why this was one of the best routes and one of the best route combinations in the entire game was for this route to Bernard. And this is true this year. You'll see if I pass lead this up, he can run with the ball, and it's basically an automatic three to five yards, and that's against a shaded down vertical hook. Um, another thing that you'll see people do though is they will drop let's say let's say for example that they don't drop you know they don't shade down and you know whatever and i'll show you what happens so if there's not a double flat what you can do is kind of similar to the tight end 
you can just wait on this to jet to the flat, pass late outside, rack catch up field, and you're gonna get seven to 10 yards. This is a really, really powerful route that most people aren't really taking advantage of in this year's game um, because of how good the out route is to the running back because the out route also beats man. And you can, if you wanna put the running back on an out, be my guest. Um, you can do this right here and you'll see that you'll still get pretty good route, pretty, pretty good separation um, if they don't hard flat. So what this causes is it basically causes the defense to have to play a hard flat coverage on both sides. So what they're going to do is this guy, Sullivan, is going to be in a hard flat. They might do something like this. And then this guy, Black, is going to be in hard flat. And then now their user, they're starting to stress themselves a lot. And it's going to basically open up the whole middle of the field because they don't have the number of players to not do that. So now what you're going to get is uh, if you watch this, the other thing that's really cool about this corner strike play is this corner route on the right kills cover two. Absolutely cooks cover two on the sideline. It's actually better, in my opinion, than Z-Spot is. It's a better corner route than Z-Spot is. That's how good it really is. So the point is you can easily, you know, like again, if I vert hook and then we're just gonna double hard flat on the outside and then we got a clouds um, and then we got our user in the middle of the field. What we can do with this corner strike play is we have this nice route to Miller and you'll see again against cover two if you pass lead it straight up it'll be uh, pretty good so how have people how have people defended that corner route why why wouldn't you just run corner strike every play well, you, it's good you ask let me show you one other thing while we're talking about it um, if I was to play hard flat so let's let's say I just shade down in a cover four or cover three you'll see the C route on the left is really good at rounding out and beating that hard flat to that side so if they hard flat you have this now another reason why I really like the C route this year and uh, I think more people should be running this route um, is because of what I'm about to show you so what you're gonna see here is when we double flat um, when we when when the defense double flats watch this relationship between the table route and the C route what you're gonna see is I can actually throw this basically right on the cut inside which is another reason as to why I like the smart route it's gonna get it to go a little bit better but essentially if I know they're if I know they're likely to do this what I can do is you'll see the cloud flat will come off relatively quickly um, because of the realization that there's a table route coming his way. So what you can do is you can actually throw this with an inside pass lead and kind of cut it off as a user catch and be able to get separation or be able to at least get it open. Another thing that you can do with the C route that's really interesting, and this is where we're going to get into the, the next part of the video here in just a second where we're going to talk about uh, double Mabel coverage, but uh, or I'm sorry, zone drops. But if you watch where this C route cuts outside, you're going to see that it's going to be right at about, you can actually pass lead this up and it can beat the cover two that way. So you see what I'm getting at. So now what they're going to do, and this is where zone drops, I think a lot of people, you know, feel that zone drops have kind of killed this concept. So a 25 yard flat, a five yard curl flat, and a five yard hook curl. Very popular, uh, very, very popular uh, coverage defense. And I'm going to show it to you out of the Mike Blitz 3. And basically what they'll do is they'll shade their coverage down so they create the flats. And then they'll play cover 2 to the so short side and cover 3 to the wide side. Kind of like this. Very popular coverage defense. If you watch now on this corner strike play, you'll see that this flat to the tight end is guarded. But notice something about corner strike that's different than Pat's curl flat. The corner route is still open. If I was to run uh, Pat's curl flat, which I have that in my arsenal here, you'll see it's pretty much, it, it, it looks, it kind of appears to be a little bit of a deeper corner route. And it, it, by all intents and purposes, it is. And this is the same, you know, I think it's actually a little bit deeper than the Z spot corner. But if you watch this corner, you'll see against cover three, a lot of times that 25 yard zone has a chance to be able to get out there and guard it, especially a, a 30 yard cloud, which I'll put a 30 yard cloud on just to kind of illustrate that a little bit more. So here's a 30 yard cloud. And like I said, with corner strike or with, uh, with Pat's curl flat, what you'll get is you'll start to get this cover three Mabel coverage look and they're gonna say you know i'm gonna tell my deep zone that you've got to get back to be able to defend that and then i've got an underneath zone for the tight end 
and what you'll see here is this curl patch curl flat play is still pretty good what they basically have to do and this is the this is the key that i want to kind of tease out a little bit today is they have to base a line and why do they have to base a line they have to base a line because of the fact that these corner routes z spots not as good of a corner route as curl flat is but what what they basically have to do is they have to get outside leverage on the corner route so you'll see here this is pat scroll flat now i base a line and you'll see that my 30 yard cloud um, has a little bit better of a chance and it ultimately will be able to play that now with corner strike let me show you something uh let me show you something with corner strike so again they're gonna have to base a line to play this this also means that on the left side if they're not in man coverage, it's less likely there's gonna be a press there. So that's something to kind of think about. But the other thing I wanna show you here, this is corner strike. You'll see here, if I pass lead up and away, I can still kind of fit that in. It's kind of a tighter throw. But the big thing that I wanna show you with corner strike that I think is really interesting is something you cannot do with Pat's curl flat. And that is the motion out. This was something that was very popular. So again, you've got a baseline look. You're running your bunch to the wide side of the field and what we're going to do is we're going to smart route this corner route and we're going to motion him to the right and let him set his feet now look where he's at he's outside of that outside uh, zone and look what i can do you see how that is open that is very very interesting to me so now what they have to do and this is where the the chess match of bunch comes in now what they have to do is they have to do basically this they have to basically play a cover two and even a cover two is not going to be perfect because he's very close to being outside leveraged here but this is a 30 yard cloud from a cover two scheme and what you'll see in this if i pass lead him straight up you see he is able to play it okay and then i want to show you one other thing about the cover two and then we're going to then we're going to move on to um why this is why this is so good um specifically against match coverage in just a second so um the, the other thing that i wanted to kind of quickly point out about cover two is so let's say you start to say okay well they're going to run cover two that's going to be their adjustment number one we can run verticals right we can run verticals and it looks exactly the same the other thing i want to show you real quick though is because it, i told you that this play was really good against cover two if you pass lead him up he gets it, it, not quite there but you can, especially if it's a if it's a 25 yard zone drop, you can get that corner over the top of that cover two, because the third isn't topping the route. That's what I'm getting at. Because they don't have a third over the top of the route that's going to top it, if you will, it allows this corner strike corner to have a chance to be able to get over the top. Again, not quite there for me, but you know it is what it is. Anyways. The next thing we can piece this with, and again, this is why it's so good, and this is why this was, I think this was originally why this was one of the best bunch schemes in, in the in the game, because what you would do is you would get them to have, you would basically force them into a base align, press, cover two defense. Now what I can do is I can motion Scotty Miller outside and run my verticals play, which is really, I've got my tight end wheel, I've got my in route, and I've also got this streak over the top of the cover two see that and that's why that's one of the reasons why we would run this now another thing that you can do that's kind of less popular that i would do against this if i was getting a lot of cover two and you might already know where i'm gonna head here but let's say i'm getting a lot and i'm getting a lot of baseline cover two out of three three five wide if they run cover two on this right side they have to it's kind of a tricky coverage and they really they're going to be in a bad spot because their user is going to be in the middle of the field so what i can do from corner strike that i think is really powerful is you see how i have this little hitch here to chris godwin i think it's one of the better hitches in the game so what i can do with this is i can put mike evans on a skinny post and then i can take my running back and put him on you know whatever i want or leave him on his route or you know put him on a ghost or i mean whatever you want to do okay but i can put my running back on his route and remember they're double flatting a lot right that's one of the things they've been doing so i can hitch him option route and whatever and then i'm going to motion this guy out. it's going to look exactly the same and now what you'll see is with the skinny post it's going to split the seam of cover two and you could if you have bunch trail you, could, you know you could kind of do this with that as well so that's kind of the chess match that you can create with something like a corner strike play 
where this corner route is so good they have to cover two they can't just base a line because i can just motion them out and i want to come back to that one more time so if they're going to double mabel you which is typically what they're going to do to try to stop z spot or to try to stop curl, curl flat if they're going to double mabel you motion this guy out on the corner and you'll see he will get open every time against that zone okay now I want to just take a quick second and talk about man-to-man, -man, and then we're going to talk about match coverage here. So with man-to-man, man-to-man is becoming very popular. Um, this corner route on the right, you're going to see, if I pass lead that right on the cut, he's not super open uh, this year, unfortunately. Um, if you were to put him on a hot route master corner, it would be a little bit more likely that he'd be open. But the route that is open is your C route. So if they run man on you, you're going to work this left side. And you'll see here, this C route, right when he cuts outside, very effective against man. And that was shaded. I'm shading my man outside and underneath. So you see that as well. Okay. So now let's talk about match coverage. So match coverage is pretty decent. I'm talking about cover four quarters or, you know, really whatever cover four. But what's interesting about match coverage is when I motion this guy out. So when I motion this guy out, you're going to see his corner route is going to be kind of interesting. It's actually going to have a lot more of a shot at getting open, not able to get open there. But it tur what it does is because they're pressed, it'll turn this match coverage into man to man. So what you'll see here is you're, it's literally going to be man to man. So you'll see he's gonna be man on this corner route and you can cut that off if you want to um, or you know whatever. But what's also interesting is let's say, cause most people, this is how most people play match, they'll deep half this guy right here. Now the guy that's supposed to be man to man on Chris Godwin is not there. So what you can do is you'll see right here that I could try to hit that, hit that seam streak, okay? Uh, match coverage is gonna defend this fairly decently. Um, but one other thing that you can do against match coverage is really attack the backside of this So if you get a match coverage, it's basically match coverage on the on the C route So you'll see right here. It's just man-to-man. -man. So when he cuts outside, he's wide open He can beat that. That's one of the things that's so good about the C route that most people have been sleeping on all year long is that with with the corner strike even if you want to put an out route here That's fine put the out route here or heck you could isolate it and do something like this, or you could do a mesh. Like, there's so much you could do with this. And again, you see how good this corner route on the right is because it, it really threatens them deep on that sideline. So just wanted to do a, a, a video today um, to talk about a concept that I've really, I feel like is grossly undersold this year and um, out of the bunch. And if you wanna learn more about my other bunch stuff, I've got a ton of stuff. I've got all the meta stuff, I've got I've got all the stuff, uh, but then I feel like I have stuff that's not really meta. And uh, this is an example of something like that. I've got another video I'm gonna do um, tomorrow out of bunch that's gonna show you another route combo that's not really popular, but is still really effective. And uh, I think it will be very helpful. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn the rest of the bunch offense, or if you just want to take your game to a whole new level in Madden, I would really encourage you to join my Patreon membership. It'll be linked in the description. It's only $10 to sign up and it gets you access to everything that we do over at the membership, all the eBooks, all the updates, all that stuff.